In the post show last week, John, the concept of blockchain and specifically NFTs, non fungible tokens, came up. I think you mentioned the word fungible in the show, which is what led to that discussion uh, starting to happen. And I found it very difficult to explain what an NFT was. So I did a little bit of research this week to see if I could come up with a better way of explaining what an NFT is and why. Some of these non-fungible tokens are super valuable. And the best example I came with, uh, I could find, was an article posted by Jack Rusher at jackrusher.com. And it's already linked in the show notes uh, that uh, equates non-fungible tokens to signed copies of an artist's painting or an artist's work in general. So you can take an artist's painting and copy it. And uh, and that is true of any d digital data, too. In fact, when you make a copy of digital data, it's an exact copy. So you literally are getting the same quality and you can replicate that millions of times. What happens, though, when an artist signs their painting, even if you can make an exact copy of it, you are not making a copy of that particular artist painting and that particular signature. Right. And especially if the artist says, you know, this is if they sign it and they say this is one of 50, this is two of 50. Now, those things are unique in that way. And that is a verifiable uniqueness. Now, with an artist's signature, that can be forged. But let's for the moment say it we've proven that it's not forged. So now that's why this signed painting or a signed book or whatever it is, is now more valuable than the unsigned book. That's what these non-fungible tokens equate to. The difference is that by using blockchain as sort of the proof of this thing's existence and its uniqueness and its path for, of ownership, there is no forgery possible. You know that that non-fungible token that you own is yours because everyone else knows it too. The blockchain is an open confirmed uh, source of the history of any of these tokens. Of course, you can use it with cryptocurrency and things like that, but it can be used with lots of things. And it, it confirms that this is valid. So it's signed paintings. There you go. Or signed books. Signed books might even be a better way because the book can be mass produced, but you know, you are signing one of them. And now that has a level of uniqueness to it or, a, a a piece of uniqueness to it. Again, there's no levels of uniqueness. All right. That's where I got. I don't know. Do you have anything to add to that, John? Yes. <laughs> uh, let's get a timestamp here. Um, there's a, a entertaining video that uh, we will link to in the show notes. Great. That also attempts to explain it. It's a uh, excellent. Great. You'll like it. You get a chuckle out of it. Mm. Oh, that's super helpful. Having different ways of looking at these things is is key.